Hello, lovely listeners. It's Floppy here, welcoming you to another delightful episode of 12 Hop Flop. I hope you're all having a binky-worthy day. Today, we're going to hop into a topic that's very close to my heart, Hutch Harmony. Yes, we're talking about tips for peaceful and harmonious living. Now, as a rabbit who shares a living space with my best friend 8-Bit, I've learned a thing or two about living in harmony. We all want our homes to be places of peace and joy, right? So, whether you're sharing your space with family, friends, or even a few furry companions, today's episode will give you some hopping good tips on how to create and maintain that peaceful vibe. So, let's get started on this journey to a harmonious hutch. All right, let's dive into what harmony really means. Now, from a rabbit's perspective, harmony is all about balance and peace. It's that wonderful feeling when everything in the hutch is just right, the hay is fresh, the water is clean, and everyone is getting along. In human terms, harmony is about creating a peaceful and balanced environment where everyone feels comfortable and respected. It's important in our everyday lives because it helps reduce stress and makes our homes a sanctuary where we can relax and recharge. Living harmoniously brings so many benefits. It improves our relationships, enhances our well-being and creates a positive atmosphere that everyone can enjoy. Think of it like a perfectly arranged garden. When everything is in its place and thriving, it brings beauty and joy to everyone who sees it. So, let's explore how we can create this kind of harmony in our own lives. Creating a peaceful environment is the first step toward achieving harmony in your home. Just like how I love to keep my hutch tidy and cosy, it's important for you humans to organise your living space too. Start by decluttering. A clean and organised space can do wonders for your mood and mental clarity. Imagine hopping around without any obstacles. Blissful, right? Next, think about the atmosphere you want to create. Soft lighting, calming colours and pleasant scents can transform a room into a tranquil haven. I always feel more relaxed when my hutch has a gentle, soothing ambience. You might try adding some plants, playing soft music or using essential oils to create a similar effect. And don't forget about the importance of cleanliness. Regular cleaning not only keeps your space looking nice, but also helps prevent stress and anxiety. After all, a clean hutch is a happy hutch. By making these small changes, you'll create a peaceful environment that fosters harmony and well-being. Now, let's hop over to the topic of effective communication. In the world of rabbits, communication is often silent. A nudge here, a nose twitch there. For humans, though, it's all about words and actions. Communication is key to maintaining harmony in any relationship. It's important to express your thoughts and feelings clearly and listen to others with empathy. When you communicate openly, misunderstandings can be avoided and everyone feels heard and valued. One tip for improving communication is to practice active listening. This means really paying attention when someone is speaking, not just thinking about what you'll say next. Show that you're engaged by nodding, maintaining eye contact and offering feedback. Just like how I give my full attention to 8-Bit when she's grooming me. It's all about being present in the moment. Another tip is to be mindful of your tone and body language. Sometimes, how you say something is just as important as what you say. A gentle tone and open body language can help convey understanding and compassion. Remember, effective communication builds trust and strengthens relationships, paving the way for a harmonious home. Now, let's talk about conflict resolution. Even in the happiest of hutches, disagreements can arise. 8-Bit and I have had our share of squabbles, but we always find a way to hop back to harmony. Conflicts often stem from misunderstandings or unmet needs. To resolve them peacefully, start by identifying the root cause. Sometimes it's just a matter of not seeing eye to eye. Other times it might be something deeper, like feeling undervalued or stressed. When a conflict arises, take a step back and approach the situation calmly. 
it's important to stay respectful and avoid blame. Instead of saying, you always do this, try expressing how you feel. I feel upset when this happens. Another technique is to find common ground. Look for solutions that satisfy both parties. Compromise is key. It's like finding the perfect spot in the hutch where both bunnies can stretch out comfortably. Don't forget the power of forgiveness and understanding. Holding on to grudges only breeds more conflict. Be willing to let go and move forward. Remember, resolving conflicts is not about winning or losing. It's about restoring peace and harmony. By handling disagreements with care and compassion, you'll create a more harmonious environment for everyone. Now let's hop into the topic of self-care and well-being, just like how I need my regular grooming sessions and naps to stay happy and healthy, you need to take care of yourself to maintain harmony in your life. Self-care is all about taking time to nurture your mind, body and soul. It's not selfish, it's necessary. When you feel good, you're better equipped to handle life's challenges and support those around you. Start by finding activities that help you relax and recharge. Maybe it's reading a good book, going for a walk, or spending time with loved ones. For me, nothing beats a cosy cuddle session with 8-bit. Find your own version of that comfort. Physical health is also crucial. Eating nutritious foods, getting enough sleep, and staying active are essential for your well-being. It's like having a balanced diet of fresh greens and hay. It keeps you energised and happy. Don't forget to take breaks and give yourself some downtime. Overworking can lead to stress and burnout, which disrupts harmony. Just like how I need my quiet time in the burrow, make sure you give yourself moments of rest and relaxation. By prioritising self-care, you'll feel more balanced and harmonious, which positively impacts everyone around you. Now, let's hop into building strong relationships. Just like how the bond between 8-Bit and me makes our hutch a happier place, strong relationships with your family and friends create a harmonious life. First, focus on mutual respect. Respect each other's boundaries, opinions and feelings. Just as I respect 8-Bit's space when she's having her quiet time, respecting others' personal space and needs is crucial. Support is another key ingredient. Be there for your loved ones during both good times and tough times. Offer a listening ear, a helping hand, or just your presence. It's like grooming each other, a simple act that shows you care and strengthens your bond. To build strong relationships, spend quality time together. Engage in activities you both enjoy. Whether it's sharing a meal, playing a game, or just chatting, these moments create lasting memories and deepen your connection. Think of it as our playful runs in the garden, fun and bonding at the same time. Communication, as we discussed earlier, is vital. Keep the lines open and honest. Share your thoughts and feelings and encourage others to do the same. It's the foundation of understanding and trust. Remember, strong relationships are built on love, trust and mutual support. By nurturing these connections, you create a harmonious environment where everyone feels valued and loved. Eve journeyed through the essentials of creating a harmonious life and I hope you're feeling inspired to bring a little more peace and joy into your daily routines. Let's recap what we've covered today. We started with understanding the true meaning of harmony and why it's so important. Then we explored ways to create a peaceful environment and the importance of effective communication. We also discussed how to resolve conflicts with care and compassion, the necessity of self-care and well-being, and the significance of building strong relationships. Each of these elements plays a crucial role in fostering a harmonious life. Remember, Harmony doesn't happen overnight. It takes effort, patience and a lot of love. But the rewards, a peaceful home, stronger relationships and a happier you are absolutely worth it. Thank you so much for joining me today on 12 Hop Flop. I hope you found these tips helpful and that you'll start hopping towards a more harmonious life. 
If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe so you won't miss out on future ones. And I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment or a review to share your thoughts and experiences. Until next time, keep hopping happily and living harmoniously. This is Floppy, signing off with a big bunny hug.